So let's start with the charges. We have a graphic here to kind of lay this out for us. Travis, Travis McMichael was found guilty on all nine counts. He's the one actually seen in the video pulling the trigger and shooting Arbery, and he's the only defendant that took the stand during the trial. His father, Gregory McMichael, was found guilty on eight out of nine counts. Their neighbor, William Bryan, was found guilty on six out of the nine counts. So explain to us why there is this difference here and why Gregory McMichael and William Bryan were not found guilty of the most serious crime, which is that malice murder. Well, in Georgia, there's not degrees of murder like there is in, say, Massachusetts. So they don't use first degree, second degree manslaughter as the structure. What malice murder signifies is either implied malice, which is somebody who commits a killing that doesn't include an intent to kill, but does include no provocation, meaning nobody caused them to go after them and, and shoot the person who's the victim. Um, and so in this case, what the jurors found is that the shooter, Travis McMichael, was guilty of a level of malice murder, which was implied malice. They didn't need to find that he left his house with the intent to kill Ahmaud Arbery, but they did find that he was not provoked and that it was an unlawful killing. The difference is for Gregory McMichael, the father, and the neighbor who chased after them, along with the father and son, they were found guilty of felony murder, meaning they participated in committing a felony that led to the death of Ahmaud Arbery even though they did not have malice of forethought and even though they did not pull the trigger. All right, let's talk about sentencing now. So as you point out that all three of these defendants found guilty of at least one count of felony murder. So what can we expect when it comes to sentencing? Would they all get the same sentence? Are we talking about life in prison or perhaps the death penalty here? So this is not a case where the prosecution has indicated a desire to seek the death penalty. That was something that was decided before the case. What they do face is the possibility of life in prison without parole. Now, a judge gets to make that determination, and he will do that at the sentencing hearing. It's possible that he finds that they should be paroled, but they would still need to serve approximately 30 years before they're eligible for parole. It's also possible, and I think likely, that the shooter in this case, Travis McMichael, gets a greater sentence, a more significant sentence than his father or the neighbor because of his conduct, because of the fact that he pulled the trigger. So I think you may see differences in the sentences, but in effect, Malice murder and felony murder here are both murder. It is really a distinction without a difference for purposes of the outcome.